We're gonna move the cameras. Okay, there we are. I think we've got a better connection now on Olympia LaPointe. And uh, that is fantastic that Olympia LaPointe is, is broadcasting with a photo, I believe, of her behind her. That is awesome. <laughs> You can see that. That is awesome. It's like it's like when Stephen Colbert does his show and he has the photo of him behind him. That is awesome. Uh, <laughs> we have got Olympia Lapointe with us today, and uh, you know I I need I need to get me a really good photo of myself and put that behind oh, really? me. I think oh, that's awesome. I bet you could great. I, I great think great that would be great. Uh, we have got Olympia Lapointe with us today. She joins us live here on our big program, and uh, each and every week we chat with Olympia about all sorts of different things. And today, uh, we are chatting about real versus fake science news. Uh, one of the things that I always find so strange, which um, it, it's, it, it's just because, you know, I know over the last several years, people have, have, have gotten into this fake news thing. Oh, yeah. And they talk about fake news. This guy's fake news. That people, those people are fake news. Honestly, the actual fake news is that crap that you used to see on um, Facebook where it would say, John Cena killed in a car accident. Click here. That's, well, that's fake that's news. That's happening again. All so this, it's all this... happening on the lines of science. Yes. So uh, let's talk a little bit about um, this whole thing, real versus fake science news. Tell us about Olympia. Yes, uh, it is the most surprising support. The National Security Agency, and this is a large agency in the United States that protects uh, information, and science information, technical information, our security in the United States has found that there has been interference, foreign interference, when it comes to giving information about the COVID-19 virus during the pandemic. Now, this is creating a large concern because the false information is in English and it is on YouTube, it's on Facebook, it is on Instagram, it is on a lot of the different news sites that people will think is real, but they do not know that these are not actual news sites. So there has been an announcement from not, not just the government, it has been the National Security Agency, our uh, intelligence agency in the United States that helps us understand that there's false information being sent out and part of that information is being seen about three different levels in science today and about wow. how to keep safe during the pandemic. And so there's a couple of lies that's out there during the pandemic. And so I'm excited to share with us the truth, the science truth about what the doctors are saying. We have got Olympia LaPointe with us today. She joins us live here on our big program. And uh, to, the first one is the virus is made up, which, you know, normally uh, if I didn't have if I wouldn't have had it and wouldn't have known two people that did have it. Uh, <laughs> but I've had it. So uh, it's not made oh, up. I'm so thankful <laughs> you are alive and safe. That is what we call a blessing. Thank you. So tell us about this. Well, it's real. And yes. You know it. Like a lot of millions of people across the United States knows, the virus is real. And it is real and it's affecting people on a disproportionate level. And it is a virus. And, and since you have experienced it, many people have relate across these symptoms. It is a severe, uh, it's not even a flu. It's a severe immune type of virus that is trying to be figured out. There's an improportionate number of people being affected by this virus. There's people who have preconditioning, preconditioned health uh, considerations. Uh, it is individuals who are African American, Latino, Native American, and people who come from backgrounds where they live with multiple generations of people in the household. It is happening to spread across households in a way that is affecting generation to, to generation. There is a higher percentage a ch there's, I believe it's a, a 10 times higher chance that someone who is in a lower economical uh, bracket, someone who is of African American, Latino, or Native American descent yep. has a higher chance of, of getting the virus. And it is causing severe issues, not only within the health of people, 
but is also causing severe issues within our hospital systems. Hospitals and doctors are all across everywhere trying to let people know that this virus is real. It's not something that's made up. And there's ways in which we can protect ourselves from it and be able to check our health if there has been an introduction or exposure to it. We have got Olympia LaPointe with us today. She joins us live here on our big program. And uh, so what what is the number two lie here? Videos online from medical doctors. Talk to us about all this. Yeah. Oh, yes. Have you seen this? Uh, it's like um, there's a lupus drug that's being used, uh, being claimed to be used to be able to uh, prevent or uh, completely halt the virus of the pandemic. And if you Google it online, and it's, always, it's hard to say if you look at it, it's yes. hydroxychloroquine. I think that's how you say it online. Yes. So go Google it. And so there's a lot of fake videos, and, and it's say fake videos, that's saying that that is the cure, as well as having antibiotics to be able to completely eradicate the virus. And that is a lie. It is not true. The fact is that this particular drug that's being promoted, science doctors have scientifically found, and there's research papers that indicate that the drug alone with the antibiotics does not treat the infection in all people. In fact, in some cases, it kills individuals. Now, the wow. reason why that happens, and I, I've thought about this, so why does that occur? And it's a biological process that happens in the human body. That particular drug in some individuals causes hyper uh, irregular heartbeats. Now, normally someone with an immune system who has a, uh, a, a muscle structure and tone in their body can possibly handle that. That is a concern of that, of that particular drug. It doesn't happen in everyone, but in some people. Now, the problem is, is that with some COVID-19 patients, there has been two things found. There has been extreme inflammation in the chest and bronchial muscles, and that causes the inability to actually inhale and exhale within the muscles. Those same muscles are responsible for contracting and regulating heartbeat. So in this particular introduction to the drug, it has, doctors are saying, it has a higher risk of introducing more fatal risk in certain individuals. So that is the reason why the drug is not uh, a standard drug to be given to everyone in this particular case. And not only that, the virus COVID-19 is producing hard, like large blood clots in some individuals. Now it affects people differently, but for some people it creates hard and large blood clots that can go to travel to the brain, the lungs, or travel in the heart. And if that particular blood clot is there, uh, active movement, like you need to, after surgeries, you know that people are supposed to walk around to get the blood flowing so to prevent blood clots. Well, that same type of action happens, but with people with COVID-19, they have a weakened muscle state and they're unable to move around as freely to prevent the blood clot. Now, this combination of the possible clots as well as the inflammation makes it a deadly prescription in some cases. We have got Olympia LaPointe with us today. She joins us live here on our big program. And uh, each and every week we uh, talk to Olympia LaPointe. Check out OlympiaLaPointe.com and uh, get more information over there. So talk to us about these drug companies that are forcing medications and vaccines on people. Oh, wow. And there's another lie that's out there. The lie is that there's a big pharmaceutical company forcing everybody to get a vaccination. And that's not true, actually. And here's the truth. A lot of the drug manufacturers that the United States uses on and distributes across the United States is not made in the United States. So that is the problem. And it becomes a problem because there has to be a large, manu once, once a particular drug is found to be able to treat the COVID-19 virus with success, there has to be mass distribution of it. Now, no particular uh, medication has presented itself as the, the cure at all. But that's why the scientists are working around the clock to find this medicine. In this particular case, there needs to be a large production of medicine or a vaccine once it's available. Since the majority of man drug manufacturers that the United States uses is not located here in the United States, rather they're located in China and other countries, it becomes a problem 
when it needs to distribute the medication on time to the United States when there's other countries also being concerned. So as a result, there are scientists working around the clock in the United States to create and find the right medical uh, chemicals to create the different drugs as well as the testing that's needed for massive amounts of people here in the United States. So uh, if anything, the big drug companies are trying to meet the need and create a way to produce help when the help has typically been seen outside the United States. Wow. Olympia LaPointe Day. Now, Olympia, before we wrap up here with you, my friend, what's the latest book and why should people go pick it up? Oh, thank you. Uh, Answers Unleashed is my latest book. It's Un Answers Unleashed, The Science of Unleashing Your Brain's Power. Talks about situations like this. When we go through really yeah. traumatic situations, and, and everyone across the entire world is in the same traumatic situation, which is a <laughs> pandemic. Yes. We have to find answers, and answers can be unleashed if we change the way in which we're thinking and we move past the fear. So this book, as well as the new uh, online membership, uh, allows people to, if you go to AnswersUnleashed.com slash membership, it allows you to be able to check out the great deals that we have on being able to see these different videos to change your thinking. And not only that, a part of this, uh, whoops, a part of this program uh, is Mathophobia Educational Program. Now, there's a lot of parents who are looking to be able to have and get the proper help for their children during this COVID-19 crisis. And so the great news is that I have on mathophobia.com, and if you go to the uh, uh, mathophobia.com slash home dash school, I yes. created a online membership for people to actually help get their children math and science education while they're being uh, in this pandemic. And if they're scared to send their kids out, they can go to mathophobia.com slash home dash school and educate their child in math and science during the break. Fantastic. Well, uh, Olympia, I will talk to you next week and uh, we will have something else with you. I appreciate it, my friend. Oh, it's always a pleasure to be on your show. Thank you, my friend. There she goes, Olympia LaPointe, and uh, we are going to take a timeout. And when we come back, we're going to go to our next guest who tried to scoop Olympia's time slot. He called in with the old excuse of, am I on time?